Today I'm talking with Bill Sohm, CEO of Wave Systems. Tell us also about um, virtual smart cards. Yeah, one of my favorite topics. And um, virtual smart card is basically one of the use cases that we can do when we use enterprise management of the TPM chip. And uh, what this does is it basically emulates a smart card, you know, hence the name. Um, uh, the nice thing about that is, is that it's using a, a chip, not one that you're buying in a smart card or uh, an RSA token or a, or a dongle or all these external things you use. These chips are already in your computer. You know, there's hundreds and hundreds, you know, close to, uh, of millions, you know, close to a billion now of these things that have been shipped already over the last six or seven years. So if you're using a computer that's more than six or seven years old, you might have a bigger problem, but you might not also have a TPM in it right now. <laughs> But um, the, uh, uh, and it basically gives you this very strong authentication um, uh, that, that is bound to your user identity also, which you use to authenticate to the machine and to the system you're trying to authenticate to. <clears throat> and uh, it, uh, it, it is an extremely cost-effective option uh, against things like external hardware tokens. Mm -hmm. Um, it's funny that a number of the companies that are talking to us right now, and there's some very big companies that are in discussions with us, have told us that anywhere from uh, one quarter to one third of their employees every year lose uh, these external tokens. And for folks that use these, they, they tell me, yeah, I'm not surprised because apparently it's a, it's a problem. Sure. But when you consider they have to pay to replace the hardware token, they have to pay to, uh, to de-affiliate de the one that was lost, mm -hmm add the new one that was uh, created, bind it to your user identity, give it the proper access rights. And then if you're a, a large global organization, as many of these companies are they're talking to, so you then have to overnight ship it around the world because that valuable employee can't do any work until he's allowed back or she's allowed back into the, into the network. And so uh, when you look at total cost of ownership, suddenly we are a very attractive option with very strong technology to, um, uh, to authenticate uh, into the network. 